His Excellency Stay, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held an expanded meeting with members of the Higher Council of Universities at the Suez Canal University on Tuesday. The President reviewed the quality of higher education and education in scientific research, as well as the status of Egyptian universities in regards to international accreditation. Later in the day, the President attended a celebration at Ismailia Stadium where the head of state honored university's top graduates. The story. President Dafatah Sisi stressed on Tuesday that it was necessary to come up with scientific ideas to face challenges to the state. The president was speaking during a meeting with members of the Higher Council of Universities at the Suez Canal University as part of celebrations marking Egyptian Universities' Excellence Day. During the meeting, President Sisi discussed quality of education in higher education and scientific research. The head of state was briefed on the status of Egyptian universities with regards to international accreditation. During the meeting, Alexandria University had reviewed efforts to link scientific research with industry. For his part, the head of Cairo University also gave a briefing on efforts exerted to upgrade the position Egyptian University in international rating institutions. President Sisi was briefed by the head of Tanta University on efforts to encourage students' participation in Decent Life Initiative. Addressing the attendees, President Sisi said, it is important to announce the introduction of the new colleges, especially those with technological specialities of which the job market is in need. He said it is important to make sure that specialities at universities respond to the job market, especially digitalization, which he said is needed not only in Egypt but also worldwide. Speaking at a discussion session, he said citizens should be aware of the amount of expenditure in educational infrastructure. The president also attended a session dubbed the story of a nation with heads of universities, students, unions, and a session of building the Egyptian character. During the discussions, the CC was briefed on progress of education system at state, civil, and foreign universities, and efforts to develop technical and basic education in Egypt. He said 25 million students need the allocation of at least 1 trillion Egyptian pounds. President Sisi said that education culture in Egypt must be prepared to accept new development suggestions. He stressed that there was no time for five-year plans to implement any projects related to educational development. President Abdel Fattah Sisi exchanged greeting cables with the heads of Arab and Muslim countries to mark the occasion of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The President wished them and their nations uh, good returns on the occasion and wished them blessings, success, health, progress and prosperity. The President also sent Muslim Egyptians abroad congratulation cable. Meanwhile, the Minister of Defence, Muhammad Zaki, also sent greetings to the President over a telegram. The minister wished many happy returns on this occasion for the president, for Egypt and the Egyptian people. He also extended his greetings to the army personnel and to the president. President Abdel Fattah Sisi delegated on Tuesday General Commander of the Armed Forces Defense and Military Production General Mohamed Zeki to participate in the commemoration of the anniversary of President Gamal Abdel Nasser. The minister laid a wreath of flowers on the tomb of the late Egyptian president and met members of his family extending uh, greetings from President Sisi. Members of the House of Representatives gathered at the House's premises on Tuesday to sign recommendation forms for candidates in the upcoming presidential elections 2024. The forms were drafted by the National Elections Authority under the Constitution Article 142. It puts a condition for eligible candidates to get recommendations from at least 20 House members. The authority has said the presidential elections would be held on the 1st of December for voters abroad and the 10th of the same month for voters inside the nation. Egypt condemned the terrorist attack carried out by Houthi rebels against duty forces affiliated to Bahrain's defense forces that is existing among Arab coalition forces participating in the Firmness Storm and Return of Hope operation on the southern borders of Saudi Arabia. A statement issued by the foreign ministry asserted Egypt's full solidarity with Bahrain following the attack. The ministry called for necessity to, of regional and international unified effort to face terrorism in all shapes and forms. 
It further called for putting an end to the practices targeting instability of Arab nations. Fighters loyal to the Syrian government have clashed with Kurdish-led forces in a mainly Arab district of eastern Syria, leaving, leaving 25 people dead in two days. The Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF, who are backed by Washington, said they had driven out the regime gunmen